Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel and we are on the final two levels of Lemmings to the Tribes. Starting today with Lemming in Distress. Eight minutes. I would think all of the Lemmings are in distress to some degree or another, but maybe there's just one Lemming in particular who's really going to be facing the brunt of it. Uh, the Spearer is back. Interesting, interesting. Maybe we'll be a... Uh... Maybe we shall be using it. We've got quite a few athletic skills here. Runners, spears. Uh, always love seeing the roper. The roper is one of, I think, my more favorite, more generally useful ones. Okay, now we're going to get to see if this hand is all talk or if it actually is up to something. Okay, yeah, forget it. That, that, the, that thing is goofy. So do we have an attractor? We do, thank goodness. Okay. So I'm thinking somebody is going to need to run off and plumb here. Where is the exit? The exit is just down the way. The tower is next to a very large, but I think probably benign dragon. You know, the dragon has kind of a lost Vikings look to it, weirdly enough. Uh, but we will have to find a way over this. Perhaps a builder? Yeah, there uh, we have a builder. So probably going to be avoiding that using that. I can't see much use for these uh, knocked over chalices over here um okay i let somebody get too close to the edge already i can tell so we're gonna be running and gunning it here so i'm gonna have you just uh wow okay i think i may have jumped just a touch too short yeah that was that was a disaster so it's gonna be boop boop um what are we going to be using? How are we going to be using our skills here? Is there anything that can actually go through the water here? I think I may need to... I think I may need to... We may be able to cheese this if I jump in the right spot, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and not use a runner. I'm going to not use a runner, and I'm going to hop down. Yeah, so that you land there. Well, then what does that do for everybody else, though? Uh, yeah. That doesn't really do much for anyone. Um, well, I could balloon across twice. Okay, this is gonna get, this is gonna get a little cheese-tastic here. Okay, so, they're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna use... Actually, I probably should have used the Builder to get over this. Yeah, I should have used the... No, but I need the Builder at the end. Okay, yeah, this is going to get... This is going to get a little weird. We'll try it, though. Okay, I started over kind of for nothing there. Okay. So now... Play him out. Play him out, sir. Okay, so... No, I missed where I needed to rope. Because I need to... Okay. So, I don't have much room to do this, but I do have some. I gotta blow you over really quickly. I gotta blow him over into here, and then back up into here, so that he turns around and goes left. That's what my two ballooners are gonna be for. But as soon as I hop off into the... Once as soon as I hop off into here, as soon as I know he's made it, I need him to be the roper. What are you doing? Come on, man. I know you just took a nasty fall and you need to kind of walk it off, but I need you to I need you to be on the ball. I need you to pay attention, sir. Come on. Come on. Only two levels left. Don't give up on me now. Okay, so then All right, so they go up to there. All right, now it's going to take some it's going to take some fancy footwork, but I am going to balloon you God. I am such a goober. Okay. Well, actually, that might have worked out. Could have ballooned him up into here, have him jump over, do the same thing, and kind of feather touch it. Okay, it's going to take some finessing. I don't have much space to work with two balloons. Can I actually save him from here? No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take two... It's going to take some finessing to get two balloons to do what I want. Well, hold on. How how would I get them to turn around then? I need to use my... I would need to use the roper here to turn them around. Builder here. Well, roper and builder here. So then what is the... 
what's the magical solution for getting them off the... Probably, like, archers or something. Okay. Alright, we're gonna... Alright, we're gonna do this. Again, actually, this kind of makes it easier, I think. So, we're gonna hop off. And... Yoop! And, uh... A tractor. Kind of as far back as possible. Okay, yeah. So, what we need to do is... Make a little... Yeah, there we go. Alright, so... Make sure they can get across there. One more for good measure. And that's right, you're a weirdo. Just just stop. Please just move on. Yeah, just shoot it over there or something. Ah, crap. Uh, I think that's... Well, we're gonna have to see if that makes it. it it's a... It's a photo finish, but we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. Okay, so now you shoot up to here. That makes a wall for them to turn around on. And then I just build to the exit, right? I think that's how it works. Now I have to build over the trigger point, not the actual trap. That's very important. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that then. Unless it doesn't work that way. Unless he can pop out and shoot me from anywhere. But that's not traditionally how lemming traps work. You have to step on the right spot for them to activate. And now you just... Well, that is a mistake. I meant to make you a... Uh... Okay, well, you're fine. And... No, no, it was one pixel shy. Well, at least somebody else made it. But yeah, that's generally, I think, how it's gonna work. Okay, same area, about from the middle of the trap. And then this time jump to release you no runners involved no runners and i think this is much yeah that was much cleaner that time the way i got the arrows looking so there we go that one is solved and i think i probably did it i don't know that looks pretty good to me i don't feel like i cheesed it per se i think that's kind of an open-ended level and i just sort of did it in a way that happens to work i think there's probably a lot of ways you can get away with that one uh, but that leaves now. Hey, somebody! Are Lemmings dying? I can't really tell. Like, the point is being triggered, but I don't think anyone is dying. Or somehow a lot of Lemmings died at once? I don't know, no. Like, the dragon is going off, but it doesn't look like anybody is actually dying. He's just really active. Maybe he's happy for the Lemmings. Maybe the dragon is just... You know, celebrating the only way he knows how. So, so 35 lemmings? How did, wait, how did so many lemmings die? What, what happened here? Okay, so I somehow saved 35 out of 35? What happened? I missed something. How did they just, how did they just eat the dust like that though? What, what happened? Okay, I have kind of a hypothesis. I feel like maybe what might have happened is that the lemming fell in a place where it triggered the trap, but it didn't kill him. But then when, like, a load of lemmings came across the way, what happened is they fell on the fire as it was happening and it killed. So I just want to make sure the dragon doesn't get triggered at all here. Okay, yeah, because what? Okay, he gets triggered there. So what happens now is I go ahead and I fast forward it here. So, see, one lemming will not get torched by that, but we have a whole collection of them here that are kind of close to each other. So, see, they fall into the fire animation. Yeah, so a bunch of lemmings die, but, like, one lemming can avoid this, but yet somehow a bunch of them cannot if they're spaced wrong. That is weird. I don't like that. Okay, he's not popping out at all, so they should be completely safe this time. Let's jump it and see how the big group handles themselves. Gotta get way on the edge of that mound there for it to not trigger at all. Not even a little bit. So go ahead and let's just fast forward to see how it does. Okay, now they all get there and now we get the gold medal. We've gotten a gold medal 118 times before, and I'll be danged if I'm going to be denied it this time because of some silly little pokey dragon head. So get in there. There we go. There it is. That level is successfully solved now, and that means we have only one more before we have a fully assembled 
talisman, which will uh, which will ward off the encroaching darkness that will make the Limming Island unlivable. That's the story of the game, I do believe. Just jousting around. Seven minutes. Okay, not very much of anything, so we're going to be using things in specific places here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Four runners. That's the most we get of anything. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. This is a big, wide, kind of open-looking level, so maybe there's something we can maybe there's something we can do here. I think this these have all been pretty easily solvable so far. I don't see this one being especially troublesome. Uh, any attractors? We've been getting attractors. No, but they go down into here where a dragon is lying in wait for them. That's no good. Although maybe, well, we may be able to use a glue pour or something. Okay, so if I just, if I pole vault from the start, we get up in here. Okay, so. Okay, so cannon, catapult, whatever, whatever you may have you. So, how are we going to hold everybody in? We do have a floater. We have a classic floater, so that's going to be coming down from the top to make their little lives easier. I think what we may want to do is kind of get him... We want to get him going into the wall. Okay, we're going to have to avoid the cannon somehow. We're going to have to move, either move it to a place where nobody is affected by it or do something that avoids the trigger i want to see if i want to see if glue pouring will avoid the trigger on the uh on the dragon that may be a way to do that you can kind of cover up those spots like that sometimes although we may end up needing both no it does cover it up so that's something at least but do we need our glue pours elsewhere perhaps here yeah okay I see. Do I have a stomper? Ooh, I don't. That's a pro. Oh, a bomber. I would need a bomber right here. Oh, I think I need a glue pour here. And then one here to avoid... Okay, yeah. You bring the cannon all the way over here. No platformers or anything? I see a stacker. No, a roper. Oh, I have a roper. Okay, so I can use one glue pour here. Very possibly. Okay, so... Yeah, I think it's fallen into place for me. So, yeah, we're going to get one person going ahead doing that. And we need to pole vault from a spot. One person is definitely going to run and do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Might have to be an as soon as you drop kind of deal to give you the room. Yeah, boy, you, ooh, you don't have much room to pull that off at all. So, yeah, so now that one becomes our floater. We use a glue pour to cover this trap trigger right here. Very good. Okay. We're going to want to wait till all the lemmings are in so that we don't make this a fatal fall also. So now we want to back this cannon up. I'd say to about... Probably about here. I don't know if the floater will activate when I use the cannon here in the way that I'm intending to. I hope so. I hope, that, I, hope I don't just make this... Okay, yeah, good, good. Okay, yeah, excellent. So now I move this out of the way. I have one roper. So yeah, one roper here to kind of save them from that. There we go, okay. Now I just have to wait for everybody to get in. Now I use my glue pour here to avoid everybody getting uh, cannoned off the face of the earth. I hope it covers it up. Should cover up the trigger point. Yeah, park it right under the carport. I think that's it. Oh, here we go, folks. I think that's done it. I think we're at the end of the game. We are heading into it now. We just have to wait for everybody to get in this hole here real quick. So, to ensure that this is a safe bomb that I use here. Yes, perfect. And there it is. The last time we will see them walk home in this game well folks we have done it let's sit back let's pop our popcorn our jiffy pop our whatever get out the nachos let's celebrate get out the fudge covered oreos it's christmas time they're selling those in stores again go get you a box they're only three something and they're absolutely freaking delicious 
go get whatever snack you want, sit back and let us enjoy as we snap the final piece of the puzzle into place. I can hardly believe it. Here we are for the final time taking what is rightfully ours. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There is the complete assembled graphic. All the Lemming tribes gathered in unity before the Ark. <gasps> oh my gosh. One last time, the Scanline gods smile down upon us. I can't. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. We did it. This is amazing. Oh, we get a little pre rendered video. Oh, this is a door. Oh, one, one guy got left behind. Congratulations are in order. You have indeed proved to be the one predicted in the prophecy. But if it were to do, if you were to do it all over again, could you do any better? I don't hardly think I could. Oh my goodness. Lemmings 2, the tribes. The cast in order of appearance, the prophesied PC games programmers. Russell K, Stephen Reed, the one who does PC intros and front ends. All right, well, that, that's the guy who did all the fancy little work you see here, it looks like. Oh, man. Oh, I can't believe it. We've beaten Lemmings 2 the try. Okay. I have written this game off for over 25 years. And let me tell you, I have been a fool to do that. This game was an absolute blast. And I think it actually ended up building on Lemmings in a smart and fun way. I... I just can't believe I've gone so long thinking, well, they didn't need more than eight jobs. So why did they fix what wasn't broken? It's all bloated and crap and blah, blah, blah. No, I was like, I was so wrong. As wrong as I've ever been about anything. So maybe it's time for me to go back and reassess some other things I've been taking a dump on. He who does limbing voices by the light of the moon. Well, that's a little strange, but whatever makes you happy. All right, so keeping on. The worthy scribe, that, that lemming just is falling and falling. It's not animated, but the suspense is still building. The worthy scribe who writes credits for the common folk. I love these credits. They're great. They're they're fun. They're funny in the usual uh, British slash Scottish tradition. You know, kind of like kind of like that uh, rare rareware style of humor. Dark Mark. That's a nickname for sure. The spokesperson for the Lemmings themselves, as ye old level designers of the East. Also featuring from the Kingdom of Sinosis, <laughs> Graham Stafford, whose car journeys reduced Earth's cell by day. <laughs> the Guild of Chain Smoking Playtesters, well, I'd like to join them, but I don't chain smoke. I hope that's okay. General Super Helper Hour sort of guy, way to go, Greg. Way to go, Greg Duddle. Everybody, everybody really appreciates your going out and getting. Chris Stanley with Fiat X19 red wedge shaped car. Hence Chris Wedgie Stanley. Has nothing to do with how often they pulled his underwear over his head, I'm sure. Aspiring evaluators, but still play testing. <laughs> Honk if you love Cynosis. Sanity in a chain smoking universe. Oh, yep. Yeah, wouldn't be wouldn't be the 90s without our little anti-smoking rhetoric. Let's see. Remember GMTV forever. I will. I will honor the memory of GMTV. Craig Duddle earning pocket money from Daddy Duddle. And a special mention to Mike Daly who did some graphic stuff. I'm sure he's not an important person in the series at all. No. No way. <laughs> all right. We got we got the Wizards of the East Coast over here. And during the winding course of Lemmings the Second, the following occurred. We played several miles of music tape. Tape used to be a medium that you could listen to music on, kids. We set up a home theater <laughs> using a 14-inch monitor. Oh, <laughs> how quaint. We watched three dozen dinner times worth of video. We said the word not from Wayne's World enough times to approach a five-figure number. <laughs> Ch denied. Brian blew up a hard disk twice. We increased BT's profits. All right, well, I'm glad to know that BT had his profits lined. We watched a total eclipse of the moon. That's cool. We got snowed in for a day. We built a snow lemming. Aww. I wonder if there are pictures. That would actually be fun to see. I would love someday to go to Dundee, Scotland and visit the lemming statue there. We had a great time. Well, that seems to be all. 
Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. And yes, you will. You will see me soon. Uh, there is more Lemmings action to be coming. Not in the immediate future. But uh, there is a project coming that uh, kind of got stalled out for a little bit. But it is going to rise from its grave. And no, it's not Altered Beast. Ew, gross. <gasps> Wait a minute. Are there bonus levels? Is there a post game? Have I been wrong to think this is the end the whole time? Or is this Lemming just falling from like the shadow dimension into, into whatever world it's going to inhabit? Oh my gosh. There it is. Is there anything else to play? I love this music we got going here. It's really kicking. Good beat there. I love that ending song. But I think there's not much else left to play. No, just jousting around. And I think we may be able to watch the ending cinema again if we go to the map. But other than that, yeah, no, I think it actually is the end of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one more time. But I think, yeah, we are done. Yeah, arc. Here we go. Uh, is there an arc level? If so, we'll have to cover that. Now it's just a picture of the arc, it looks like. Okay, yeah, and the talisman gets rebuilt for our... For our benefit and for our pleasure. Very nice. Oh yeah, and then you can just watch this whole thing again if you want. Well, I don't want to watch this whole thing again. It was it was fun the first time, but we've got places to go and and people to see and more games to play. So join me next time for the first not counting Mario Maker levels for the first full-fledged Switch playthrough I'm doing. <gasps> A modern game on a modern system? Around the wheel, what's got into you?